ADD and ADHD, how to find it in your chart and what to do with it. Whenever I have clients send me their children's chart and say, what is wrong with them? What's going on with their school? What kind of school should we be putting them in? I don't know how to work with them. I can even see this in adults as well, too. So I look for signs of, well, if I see signs right away of ADD and ADHD, this is the first thing I say. There are seriously some serious cases of ADD and ADHD. But I believe that most of the problem is the world that we live in. Because for mo the most part, ADD and ADHD is caused by two separate issues. For the most part. Like I said, there's some serious cases. One is our diet and our nutrition. Our food is laden with poison and it's definitely affecting our mental health. Two, and what I think is the most important, is our education system. You see, ADD, I do not like this word because it's deficit disorder. And it, most of these people do not have a deficit or a disorder. But it's definitely a multi-focused, multi-talented, multi-curious, and multi-adventurous person. And the world is not modeled for that. The world wants you to wake up at a certain time, eat at a certain time, eat lunch and dinner at a certain time, eat certain foods, don't eat certain foods. Go to work at a certain time, leave work at a certain time, get married at a certain age, have children at a certain age. Everything is rigid and time. Don't even get me started about the educational system. Seriously. You gotta sit down. You got first of all, you gotta have this high energy child. Every child has most child children have high energy. And if they don't have high energy, then they're very introspective and quite curious and most of the time very creative. Why are we forcing our children to learn things? Sit down for an hour, read an entire book. Everybody's gotta read the same book, everybody's gotta do the same homework, everybody's gotta do the same test, and it really doesn't matter what type of personality you have, what your personal interests are. Now, if you're diagnosed with something, then they'll pay attention to that. Why do we have to diagnose people? Why don't we just allow our kids to learn the way they want, when they want, and how they want? If you want to see a great example of how the, I believe the educational system should be, we actually have one here in school because I have to help my niece get into that school system. Of course, she had to be diagnosed with everything under the book, under the sun. <laughs> Take a look at Zac Efron's Down to Earth and go to, I believe it's the third one, it's called Costa Rica. It's their first season, third episode called Costa Rica. This is uh, 40 expats, 40 families, I believe, of expats and how they taught their children and the school that they set up for them. That's the way all schools should be. Anyways, let's get to it. We're looking at Aries, we're looking at Gemini, and we're looking at Sagittarius. Okay, so you can see Aries is in the first house. You dump, dump, jump down three, and that's Gemini. And you go up to nine, and that's Sagittarius. Those are the three markers that I look for right away to see if there's going to be someone who's multi-curious, multi-talented, multi um adventurous but also somebody who's very curious about learning more and more but only about what they're interested in that's usually Sagittarius energy highly intelligent people most of these people are highly intelligent uh, there's a sense of impatience with Aries and with Gemini it's just that their mind goes from they see patterns so their mind jumps from one thing to another to another to another and this is why they ask a lot of questions but if you're in school and you're asking a lot of questions you're considered undisciplined and so the teacher ends up disciplining you. So these poor children end up learning to shut up, which is very sad because they grow up feeling like they're unheard, they're unintelligent, and nobody cares what they think. Then I look for Uranus. And if you go over to Aquarius, that's the sign of Uranus. It's ruled by Aquarius. When I see Uranus up against Mars, if you go to the first house of Aries, or I see it up against Mercury, I'm going to diagnose ADD and ADHD as well. Now, I say diagnose. I am not a medical professional. I tell all my clients to do their own due diligence. If there's a ton of stuff in the third house or the ninth house or the first house, first, third, and ninth house, same thing. If Mars and Mercury are very close together, specifically if they're in a fire sign or they're in the first, third, or even the fifth house at times, and the ninth house, that is an indicator and a marker for ADD and ADHD, ADHD as well. Next one I'm going to talk about is if your child is a picky eater. Let's take a look at the markers astrologically there. 